right here. This used to be the Dimas and Lang building right here. From here to there. And uh, it was a fraternity. I think uh, Robert's uh, uncle and his dad and my dad, they were all fraternity brothers. The Dimas and Lang was like, uh, like the shrine, you know, like uh, Mason or, you know, the, you know, they were the hat with the, what do you call, fizz or, yeah. And uh, they went by degree. You know, my dad, he ended up to be a 33, you know, he, he was all honored because he was one of the founders of the Dima, the San Jose Mauler Lodge here. 1926, the Mauler Lodge uh, formed, the Dima San Lung. And there were 12 members, and my dad was one of them. And um, this is where they had their meetings and things, and it was a good fraternity, you know. It's, uh, That's yeah. the back of the buildings. No, even you see some other pictures of the backyard of the Lima Salon, you know, on 6th yeah. Street, see, like that. That's the backyard. Yeah, the backyard. And our house was right behind the... Right, they, they had two buildings, the office and boarding house. They were separate well, buildings. The, then they had a room upstairs. See, now that's the Lima Salon building right there. The right. office or the... The office and, yeah, well, that's the... Where they used to, you know, kind of a hall. It was, just, it was a small hall. And then next to it would be the boarding house. The boarding house. And then you go along. Here was an alley. That used to scare the heck out of me because I had to go through two buildings. I was thought of ghosts, you know, coming. Well, anyway, <laughs> there was an alley here. And then here was the Filipino boarding house. Right here. From here to here. It was a boarding house, and then the... And you look at the buildings, that's yeah. the back of the buildings. No, even you see some other pictures of the backyard of the Lima Salon, you know, on 6th yeah. Street, see, like that, that's the backyard. Yeah, a... This had to be the, the boarding house, Lima Salon boarding house, where I was sold. How many people lived in the boarding oh, house? Oh, it was about maybe like 15 people, because oh. there were upstairs rooms too, and then downstairs. 15, my God. And then our house was right behind the boarding house. The boarding house. And then behind the boarding house was my house I grew up, right behind the gym there. And there used to be an old Japanese gym. Then they made the, you know, and the showers and the bathroom were outside like it is here. There was only one bathroom and one shower. So with a lot of Filipinos and families, I don't know how we all, you know, <laughs> nobody had to go at the same time, so that was good. You know, see, the, this is the toilet. Everybody used the outhouse. Oh, it's right, an outhouse. Yeah, and right next to the outhouse was a shower. Is that, is that for, is that, what was the year? Is this 40, 49. 49. 49. I used that in my presentation to tell people I how think, it was. Yeah, see, the outhouse and then our house. And, you know, everybody, <laughs> everybody, with all the people living there, we all had to share the one bathroom and had to share the one shower. Even even the Filipino community in the Dima Salon, the bathrooms were outside. Uh, you know, live here. And then they all shared the kitchen. There was one kitchen, so all the Filipinos cooked. So when I was a kid, they used to feed me. And then my dad would wonder how come I wasn't hungry. Because, you know, they, they said, oh, try this, try that, try it. You know, I like Filipino food. And, um, Look at how yeah. crudely the, the building is built. Yeah, so no stucco, you know. Yeah, no, no stucco or anything. No, uh, yeah. Yeah, no it was drafty wood. It was all wood, even inside of it. That, that's and how. And then look at the deck. It's like all oh, just the deck. <laughs> just kind yeah. of thrown together. <laughs> and then there was a, a sink, you know, where they used to wash their clothes. See, then hanging. Yeah. And then on the side here was the sink. You could oh, wash your God. clothes and brush their teeth. Because, you know, there was no, no uh, sink and things except for the, you know, sink only for to cook, you know, the kitchen sink. If you, I remember people that used to brush their teeth and clean up, they go out, there was like a thing, and then they used to wash their clothes. You know, it's like a sink like that for everything. They used to 
brush their teeth, you know, and all that. Yeah, right. No, and true. then the shower was right there. It's just like and then they used to wash their clothes by hand. Everybody used to wash their clothes, and you could tell, you see, them hanging their clothes there. Yeah, you either wash your clothes or they took it their clothes to the cleaner. Yeah. But, you know, it's amazing how all the people I remember living there and things. Yes. And the one bathroom, one this, one. But oh, yeah. everybody seemed to have a, you know, there was nobody like, hurry up, hurry up. Because it was one bathhouse. Yeah, well, exactly. One outhouse. One everything. Yes. Yeah. Look, <laughs> you, you were even recycling back then for paper only. Oh, man, I didn't know really. I that. You were ahead of the time. Yeah, we is. house there. And then there was the alley here. And when I was small, you know, you have to run through the alley. Oh, man. Because <laughs> they, they used to tell me ghost stories in there. Oh, man. I tell you. And my first job ever was this restaurant here, King Ing No. I washed dishes. I started at 11 years old. First I started as a bus boy, then wash dishes, and then work myself to cutting this and that. But I never cooked. <laughs> I don't think cooking was for me. Yeah, right there. So this was taken from across the street. That's the, uh, one of the few that we have of Ken Ying Lo at, at the time. There was a lot of things going on here too, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> No. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, you know, that, that was, uh, but I could tell you one thing, I, uh, when I grew up here, I was exposed to a lot of things, you know, I used to sneak out of the house. My dad, you know, he thinks I'd be in my room, but I used to sneak out, and now guys, I'd meet my friend here, he used to live across the street there, that used to be a Filipino church right across the street, and uh, my other Japanese friend lived there, we used to, uh, meet each other, we sneak out, we used to climb the roof, watch what was going on, and, and then they person we were charging our, our other friends to peek. <laughs> so, that was, you know, but it was, you know, that time. <laughs> You, you know, when I, it's funny when I see that lot now, you know, because it's mm -hmm. King and Low and then the lot and then the Filipino community. And when I visualize that lot, it, it don't look that big anymore. I mean, it don't look as big as when I was a kid. And then, you know, from the front going back where the gym is, the Japanese gym, it don't seem like it's that far now, you know, from the sidewalk walking. Man, when I was a kid, it seemed like it was a mile, man, you know, walking, <laughs> you know, going back there because you had the alley. 